folks, we mentioned that April is Autism Awareness Month last segment, and Paula's Donuts is also doing something terrific in our community about that. Our Courtney Corbetta is at one of their locations now with details. Good morning, Court. We are kickstarting our morning at the most delicious place in town to grab a donut. And Linda, let me tell you, mm, 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 does it smell like sweet heaven in here? Well, not only does the donut hotspot serve up delicious breakfast treats, but it is also making the lives of Western New Yorkers a whole lot sweeter. Now, if you didn't know, April is Autism Acceptance Month, and that's why this morning, Veronica Federiconi, of she's the CEO of Autism Services, she joins us. Veronica, good morning to you. Good Good morning. Did you taste a donut? I did not. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to right after this segment. Veronica, can you tell us what are, what is your partnership with Paula's Donuts? What have you been doing throughout the month? Throughout the month, Paula has been uh, donating a dollar for every dozen donuts it's sold. Also, anybody who comes in and provides a donation of school supplies, um, get they get a free donut. Uh, Paula's been, Paula and her um, accepting crew of staff have been just wonderful to Autism Services over the years. We've really developed a wonderful partnership and from what I hear this partnership will continue uh, in years to come. So we're very grateful to her and her staff. Which is wonderful news. Can you tell us what Autism Services does for our Western New York community? Give us some insight. Yeah. Well, Autism Services provides uh, a good deal of services to the autism community. Um, we, we try to enrich the lives of our, uh, the people with autism, their families, the community, um, and really try to educate the, the community in terms of accepting them as anybody else is accepted into any environment out there. And that's what our focus is on, really empowering our folks, giving them a voice to speak up and help make decisions on their behalf. From day to day, what are some of the challenges that your organization faces? Not unlike just autism services, all our industry across the state is really struggling with short shortages of staff. Um, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of advocacy going out there going on right now for um, our, our staff to be paid a fair living wage. Uh, because there's short staff, we have this complete turnover continuously and it's not it's really not in the best interest of the people we support. And again, it's not unique to autism services. This is an industry-wide challenge for many people. And how can the community help out? I know coming here to Paula's, if you purchase a dozen donuts, again, we are at their Shared and Drive location, a dollar goes back to the kids. What does it mean to them? Well, with the uncertainty of the fiscal environment, um, we have to reach out more and more and partner with different organizations to bring in additional revenue. Um, if the, the money is not coming in from the state or the federal government, we have to try to bring it in in other ways because there are wait lists, I know for all of our services, of people out there and families who really need some support. So um, we really have to pay better attention to that and try to partner with people and uh, Paula's wonderful partner for us. In Autism Services, you're very busy throughout the year. That's why Francine Rizzo, you're the events coordinator. You're joining us as well today. Francine, coming up, a big event. What can you tell us about it? Oh my goodness, we have a run coming up June 2nd. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's in Hamburg. It's um, supported by the JP Foundation. And if you would like to join us, please feel free to go to the website, jpfoundation.com. There's a drop down. We're looking for teams. We're looking for runners. Autism Services has a tremendous basket raffle. We have hundreds at least 120 baskets. We have a gift card wall. All proceeds from this event is going to our resource center in Hamburg, which is a beautiful center. It's open to the public. We have presentations there. Veronica's there all the time. And uh, we have a lot of other things coming up. We do a lot in the art world. So on May 6th, from 2 to 6, you can come to the Castellani Museum and see the artwork that our students and our adult students um, create. I mean, the, it's gorgeous. The work is beautiful. And we have Think Big, which is a, huma a really, really big piece of artwork. So we're, we're hoping everybody comes down if you want any information, just go on our website, go to Run the Berg. We have a little poster over there if you'd like to take a look at it. And thank you so much. Thank you, Linda. Thank you to Paula's and to Channel 7 for doing everything that they do for Autism Services. We really appreciate it. 
Veronica, it seems like you're doing a lot for the community and it's very simple. All you have to do is come here to one of Paula's Donuts, three locations around Western New York. I'm telling you, there's bound to be one in your neighborhood. And if you step outside and smell in the air, I'm sure you'll be able to find it very quickly. Again, we're here at Paula's Donuts, so come on out and donate a dollar to Autism Services. Back to you, Linda. Thank you, Courtney. And what a great idea. What a great community partner Paula's uh, is for this. And as uh, Courtney says, it's really any of their three locations. When you go out and buy a dozen donuts, a dollar of that purchase is going to be he uh, helping our autism support services. And April is Autistic Awareness Month, so it's just so great that they're stepping forward and doing something proactive about that, and we thank them. All right, we've got more to do here on AM Buffalo. We're going to take a quick break and come on back, so stay with us.